This is question number 52 of IT Jam paper. Let's try and see what this question is saying. So you're given a demand curve and a supply curve. This is the equation of the supply curve, 14 plus 5p. How do I know this is supply curve? Because I have a positive relation between price and quantity. I go ahead and I find the demand curve. The demand curve is given as 329 minus 5p. Now, the first thing is that, you know, you have a certain level of equilibrium that this demand curve is reaching with the supply curve. How do I find equilibrium? Well, it's very simple. I know that when, you know, if I make it in the PQ region, when price is zero, quantity is 14. So somewhere over here is 14. This is my supply curve. When price is zero, quantity is 329. Somewhere over here is 329. This is my demand curve. Wherever my demand and supply curves are meeting, that's my equilibrium price. And I have an equilibrium quantity being reached. What is my equilibrium initially? Equilibrium initially is wherever demand is equal to supply. So demand is equal to supply when 14 plus 5p is equal to 329 minus 5p. or 315 is equal to 10p or p is equal to 31.5. Okay, this is your equilibrium. Now let's go ahead and think what happens when the government goes ahead and puts a maximum price. So, you know, my equilibrium is coming at 31.5. The government came up and said that, you know what? the maximum price that you can charge is 25. Now, at this maximum price, this would be the demand and this would be the supply. There would be a gap between demand and supply because the price is lower than the equilibrium price, demand will increase, but supply will decrease. So there will be a shortage of the vaccine. To avoid the shortage of vaccine, the government decides to subsidize the seller so that the market clears. So the government comes up and says that, you know what, I will give you a subsidy. See, whenever the government gives subsidy, it is like reducing the cost of production, right? And whenever the cost of production of the seller reduces, the supply curve shifts to the right. So ideally, our aim is to go ahead and make sure that we reach an equilibrium here. This becomes our new equilibrium somehow. This is my aim. I want to get this as my new equilibrium. Now, let's talk about the supply equation. What is the supply equation? The supply equation is 14 plus 5p. Now, you know, after subsidy, it's like saying that, you know what? You sell the vaccine at 25, but per vaccine, I give you some money from my end. So people will pay you 25 rupees, but I will pay you some additional money as a subsidy. So it's like saying that for the supplier, the price has increased over and above by the amount of subsidy, S per unit. Government is paying S per unit. Supplier is getting 25 from the consumer. Consumer is getting the vaccine at 25. But supplier is able to sell it at 25 plus S. He takes 25 from the consumer and S from the government. Okay. Now let's talk about the quantity demanded. The demand curve is the same, which is 329 minus 5P. So 329 minus 5P. Do you notice nothing happened to my demand curve? It is still here. Okay, so equilibrium will now be where demand is equal to the new supply curve. This is maybe QS dash. So 329 minus 5P is equal to 14 plus 5P plus 5S. And we know that we want P25. This is the new equilibrium I want to attain. I want the price to be 25. 
So 325, 329 minus 125, 5 into 25 is equal to 14 plus 5 into 25 is 125 plus 5 is. So 329 minus 125 minus 14 minus 125 is 5s. So this would be 329 minus 14 is 315 minus 250 is equal to 5s. So 5s is equal to 65. So s will be 13. So government is going to offer a subsidy of rupees 13 per unit. Now the question is how many units? Well, the number of units are the same. That would be demanded at the price of 25. This is my new price. At this price, how much are people going to demand? On that many units, government will have to give subsidy, right? So we go to the demand curve, which is 329 minus 5p. So quantity demanded is 329 minus 5p, which is 329 minus 5 into 25, which is 329 minus 125, which is 204. So the subsidy would be 204 into we have a subsidy of 13 per unit, right? And how many units? 204. So 204 into 13 gives you 2652. This is the amount of subsidy that the government will have to give. Okay, thank you.